Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. I am Kat Method and I know that you've clicked on this video looking for a yoga flow, which you are going to get. But just before we do that, I just want to tell you why you're getting this practice. So this practice that you're about to do is the day one practice of my Yoganuary 7.0, which was last year's Yoganuary. Um, and it was shared on the Soul Sanctuary, which is my app. So I have an app and it's also available on desktop. It's a membership and you can join us this January for 31 days of incredible practices. And this practice you're about to do is beautiful. And this was what the one that started us off last time. So if you enjoy this practice, know that there is so much more to come. This year's theme, so 2024's theme is Time to Shine. It's split into chapters and it's all about this awakening of your inner confidence, your personal power, this self-belief, so that when you get to the end of January, you are ready. Not only are you ready for just what comes next, but you're ready for what comes next in the whole chapter of like 2024 as a whole. And you're gonna be able to lean into it with a little bit more compassion, a little bit more of acceptance, but a lot, a lot more self-belief, which I think is something that all of us need from time to time. So if you sign up, you get 31 practices this month. Um, you can sign up for the seven day free trial. If you sign up for a year, you get a uh, get 14 day free trial. Not only that though, you will get automatically entered into an incredible giveaway. So this giveaway is only for if you are a member up until the end of January. Obviously, if you want to stay longer, stay longer. But if you cancel your membership early, then you are not entered into the giveaway. So you need to be a member throughout January and you have to be a member on January 31st. You could win £500 in cash to spend on whatever you want. It's open globally as well, by the way. This is worldwide. You could win a space on my April retreat in Dorset. You could win a £400 voucher for Vivo Barefoot. You could win a £300 voucher for Free People Movement. You could win a £250 voucher for By Glaze, which is a beautiful jewellery collection, which I have a capsule collection in. You could win Soul Sanctuary membership. It is just full of good stuff. You could win a Lifeform yoga mat bundle. Like genuinely, it's worth signing up just to <laughs> be in with a chance of winning. But I assure you, you will have just the most magical yoga annuary with us if you join. So do this practice. I hope you love it. Sorry, I've taken up a little bit of your time chatting. But like I said, I just wanted to come on here and share the magic of yoga annuary with you. So sign up at mysoulsanctuary.co. All of the description, all of the information is down in the description box. So come and join me, even if it's just for January, you will not forget it. It will be the best $14.99 that you ever spent. I promise you, I promise you it will be. Anyway, enjoy the practice and I will see you on the mat again, no matter where, very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Soul Sanctuary family, hello and welcome. It is day one of Yoganuary 7.0. Love the point O, but Yoganuary 7, wow. Seventh year of Yoganuary. Um, feels absolutely amazing to be here with you all for another 31 day journey. Now, this year's theme, hopefully you've watched the introduction video. If you haven't, then I really recommend that you watch that introduction video before you do this practice or maybe after this practice. Either way, and that way you can really set yourself up and ground in, set intentions. I give you a few journal prompts as well, just as a really good way to bring yourself into this journey. So our theme in transit is all about those transient moments between life, both mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. We will of course be looking at the physical transition from asana to asana, the transition of meditation, breath, movement, but also the transition that happens in our lives between different phases, different chapters, all of the challenges that we face. There's gonna be so much in this month. And this is just one practice to get you started. This practice is going to be about preparing you, preparing you for the 31 days that you've got ahead. Now, 
It's going to start a little bit weird and wonderful. Now, those of you that have just joined the Soul Sanctuary to do this journey, I promise you that not every practice will be this weird and wonderful, but I really want us to start as we mean to go on. I would love for this journey to be really about you drawing in a little bit more silliness, a little bit more weirdness, a little bit more childlike play into your life as we transit through this this delicious, yummy journey all here together. So we're going to get started and we're going to start standing up. So come to stand at the top of the mat and you're going to take your feet wider than hip width apart. So this would be my hip width apart. I've taken my feet out and I'm just going to turn the toes ever so slightly on the diagonal. They're not going really big on the diagonal, just slightly. Find a little bit of buoyancy and some softness in those knees and close down your eyes. Take a big shoulder roll going back and just ground here. This is where we are going to arrive. This is where we are going to settle into our practice today. So as you just check in with your breath, as we always do in every single practice, just taking that little scan of awareness. How do I feel today? What's alive for me? And keeping those eyes closed, just shift side to side, bending one knee at a time. And this is really soft. There's no alignment cues here. You're just hanging out here, arms floppy. Shoulders can be a little bit floppy as well. You can dangle the chin down to the chest if you want. And just starting to breathe into this life force that you are. Breathe into this beautiful body. You're going to be moving this body not only physically, but energetically throughout this whole course. So really just dropping into the beauty of your body and being proud of showing up here. Whether you do days 1 to 31 in 31 days, or it takes you a year to complete, or you never quite complete it, the fact that you have shown up with intention here today, that is what matters. Now just come to start shaking your hands. The shaking of the hands is not only a lovely little wake up for some heat in the body, but it's a really good way to energetically release any of that toxic energy that is residing within you. So we are literally right now through the use of the hands, shaking it out. And you can make that big, maybe you feel a little bit weird, a bit awkward right now, and your shake is really small, like that's okay. By the end of this Yoganuri journey, hopefully you'll be shaking all around the house. And then we're gonna come into a little bit more of an ancient Chinese method here, where we're gonna do some drumming onto the body. So you're gonna take your two fists, and you're just gonna start to begin with drumming through the top of the legs, and you can move the hips side to side like I am and lightly drumming into the pelvis as well. We're not slapping ourselves really hard. This, again, is to shift energy that is stuck in the body. We live quite stagnant and still lives. So having this little bit of freedom is really helpful. And then bring it around, and we start to pat onto the bottom as well and around the outside of the legs. And we start to build upon this, and there's no right or wrong where you go first. Start to travel down the inside of the legs. So tapping down the inside of the legs, and then we tap up the outside of the legs into the lower spine. And you'll start to notice my voice go a little bit weird as we do that. Into the middle spine, if you can reach, no worries if you can't, you can just keep it on the lumbar spine. And then let's go down the outside of the legs to the inside of the legs, bringing it all the way up and back to the belly, just gently here, traveling up the torso, obviously being gentle over the chest, especially for you ladies, if you feel like it's a little bit too intense. And then we come into the top of the chest, like you're beating this real big sense of pride here. And what I'd love you to do is do a big releasing breath while you're here. So take an inhale, and then audible, ha. Ah and do that again, take an inhale. 
Ah, beautiful. Take the right hand now and start to travel down the, the left arm. And then we go up the inside and then lift it up to the shoulder. This is a really nice one to then use your knuckle as you tap into that little section of the upper shoulder that normally gets really tight. Again, you don't need to be drastic here, but it might feel nice to just use the little corner of the knuckle to get in a little bit deeper. And then we switch sides, so traveling down the arm and then moving to the inside and we travel up the arm. And then again, coming onto that top of the shoulder. This is my favorite one. I do this often in the mornings, just releasing that caught up energy, that caught up tension that comes in overnight. Mm, and then releasing. And then we're going to go for the little twist and little push here. So you swing the arms and then one hand comes into the side at the front. The other hand comes into the back. So you're getting a little hit on the side of the front, hit on the side of the back, and then you turn it around and you literally move like this and you can shift through the hips as well. Very much like a primal movement that we're starting with here. I promise you that we will go into a little flow very shortly. Staying here, enlivening the body, enlivening your year. Okay. And hopefully you've already felt a little bit of heat rising in the body. We're gonna take little pulses. Now you don't have to jump here. You can just bounce through the knees or you can take little jumps and it's gonna be like this. Join me now. Ground, stillness. Close your eyes. And just bring your awareness back into the softness of your breath. Just checking in, reconnecting, how do I feel? So this practice is all about preparing the body, preparing us for the journey that we are about to embark on, transitioning from one year into the next, one chapter into the next, no matter when you're doing this journey, no matter when you're doing this flow, you can come back to it time and time again. We close the doors of one chapter and we prepare ourselves for the next one. Maybe just finding again that softness through the knees, swaying side to side. Maybe a smile even creeps its way onto your face. And that smile could be for how good it feels. Maybe that smile is you cringing at me for bouncing around on my mat. Whatever that smile is for, feel the vibrations of what that curl up of the mouth does for you. When we find a smile, it really has the power to shift the energy, shift the emotions. Okay, you're going to take your feet back to that wider section now. Well done. Grounding down, you're going to take the toes facing forwards and we'll be pivoting between both of these feet foot positions. So foot facing forwards, we'll be walking them in and then having toes facing outwards, but I'm going to guide you the whole way. Now, I'm not going to mirror you because I will be moving all over my mat, so I'm not going to confuse you. So when I say left, I mean left, even though on your screen it might look like I'm doing right. Okay, so trust what I say, not what it looks like I'm doing. Take an inhale, sweep both arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring those hands through heart center. Inhale, open the arms, find cactus. And then exhale, release the hands down by the side. Left hand travels down the left thigh as the right arm sweeps up, sensually touching the body as you reach it up and then you're over in a side stretch. So we're opening into the right side body, folding down over to the left. And then coming back through center, taking the right arm down the right leg as the left arm peels all the way up. And then coming all the way back 
through center. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Now you may wanna soften and bend through the knees in order to get yourself into a fold here. Exhale, fold yourself all the way down. Fingertips touch the earth. Like I said, if the knees need to be bent, that's fine. Take an inhale, lengthen. So we're in quite a narrow prasarita padanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the chest, heel toe the feet to malasana. So the toes are on the outside edges to the corners of the mat, drop the bottom down. If you need to keep your fingertips down to support you, to keep you balanced, that is fine. And just shift side to side here through your malasana, checking in with those hips. Tomorrow's practice is a deep and juicy flow into the hip space. So we are preparing ourselves for that. Come to find stillness, left hand reaches down, right arm reaches all the way up. Inhale, gazing up to the sky. Exhaling, moving into the space. Coming back through center, right hand comes down. We peel the left arm all the way up, take an inhale. And we exhale here. And then coming all the way back through center, fingertips come down. Start to lift the bottom and heel toe those feet back out to where they were. Take an inhale, lengthen through the chest. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, start to peel the body all the way up to standing, head and neck coming last. Inhale, reach the arms high up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, open the arms, cactus. And then exhale, release the hands down by the side. We go to the left again. So as the left hand goes down, the right arm peels all the way up and over. And just be careful not to put loads of pressure onto that supporting leg. You wanna be using the obliques in the side body to keep you lifted here. Bringing it all the way over and taking it to the other side. And then coming all the way back through center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, bend the knees if you need to, and forward fold. This time in your forward fold, interlace the hands behind the back. Take an inhale as you lift through the chest again slightly. Exhale as you fold here. Allow the head to hang heavy and the arms to drop over the head. Releasing those hands down. Fingertips come down, obviously softening the knees if you need to. Heel toe the feet into malasana, drop the bottom down. Fingertips can stay down as you shift yourself side to side here. So we're literally just massaging through the hip space as we move here. All about checking in, seeing how we feel. And the left hand stays down. We peel the right arm up, gaze to the sky. Option here, if you have it in your practice, you can take a bind. So you can wrap that right arm up and over behind you. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand, only if it's there and it's available for you. There's no need to force anything. And then releasing. And taking it over to the other side. Left arm reaches up. And then if you have it and you would like to take it, you can wrap that left arm around and then gaze up to the sky. And then gently unraveling, placing both hands down. Start to lift the bottom as you heel toe those feet back out. Take an inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest. Exhale as you fold. And then inhale, peeling the body all the way up to standing, head and neck coming last. Now bring the hands onto the hips. You're going to pivot yourself to the top of your mat. So your left foot is going to face forwards and then your right, your right heel is coming off. Now you may want to separate the distance between the width distance between your left foot and your back, your front and left back foot. You know what I mean? <laughs> hands to the hips, square the hips here. Take an inhale, lengthen through the chest. Now the glutes are gonna have to be switched on to keep you nice and balanced here. Exhale, finding a forward fold. And remember, you are up off that back heel. 
So it's not quite the same as pyramid. We're taking a slightly different variation. Release the hands from the hips, reach them forwards, inhale by the ears, and then bring them all the way up to standing so your fingertips are reaching up to the sky. Find Kali Mudra with the hands here. So uh, index finger comes together, thumbs are crossed, inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, little tiny baby back bend here. Again, lift the gaze if you can, glutes switch on to keep you balanced. And then bringing it all the way back, hands come to the hips, and then you bring yourself all the way back around to that Prasarita Pad Padasana position, and we take ourselves to the back of the mat, so right foot faces forwards, and then the back heel lifts up, so left heel is off. Take an inhale, find the length, exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. So crown of the head reaches forwards, both legs are as straight as they can be. Holding here. And then releasing the hands, reach the arms forwards and reach them all the way up to the sky. Glutes really switching on to keep you stable. Bring the hands together, Kali Mudra. So the index finger together, thumbs across, our directional empowering energy. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, little baby back bend. Doesn't need to be anything big. And then coming all the way back to neutral. Release the hands down, bring the hands to the hips, and then bring yourself back to that center position. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, open them again, cactus. And then exhale, bring those hands down by the side. You're going to pivot to the top of your mat and then stand at the top of the mat, finding Tadasana. So grounding down into both feet, the palms of the hands facing forwards. And just close down the eyes for me here for a moment. Can you roll the shoulders back? Just reconnect to your breath reconnect into your body take an inhale reach the arms high and then exhale crouching all the way down through utkatasana so we're going to take a breath in utkatasana and then you're going to sit all the way back onto your bottom roll yourself back and then come to find navasana so we went from tadasana utkatasana rolled back and now we're in navasana from your Navasana, you're just going to tap down the right foot, then the left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Bring them both up. Now roll yourself back. Can you find enough momentum to bring yourself back to that Utkatasana? And then come all the way up to standing. So we're going to do two more like that. I want you to be playful with it. Have fun with it. So what if you don't make it? So what if you roll off your mat? It does not matter. Let's take an inhale as we start to crouch down Utkatasana. And then we sit the bottom all the way down, roll it back. We find the balance in our Navasana. We can modify, obviously, with the hands behind the knees. And we tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We roll ourselves back and we find enough momentum to bring us all the way up to Utkatasana and then to Tadasana. Last time, amazing. Take that inhale, sit it back, roll around, have some fun, Navasana. We tap for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We roll back. We find the momentum. Utkatasana. From here, you're going to go straight down into a forward fold. Place the hands down. Step it back into a downward facing dog. You're like, oh, that's more like it. That's more like the yoga that I was expecting. So here in your downward facing dog, just having a little pedal out through the feet, a shake, a nod of the head, any movement that feels intuitively good for you. What feels like it's going to serve you, maybe a little bit of a wiggle through the hips and the shoulders. And then settling into a little bit of stillness here. 
Taking an inhale, really lengthening through the spine. Of course, if you need to bend your knees, absolutely bend your knees. Thinking about that belly coming towards the thighs without letting the ribs flare out. You're going to start to walk your feet back in towards the hands, feet hip width apart. Take the two piece fingers around the big toes. Inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, elbows come out to the side as the head drops down. Inhale again, just lift and lengthen. Remember the knees can be bent. Exhale, fold. Shift the weight towards the front of the feet slightly. Just taking a few breaths here. We're going to be here for about five breaths. Finding that connection to the flow of energy within you. The breath, the prana, the life force. Two more breaths here. And taking an inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, place the hands to the hips. And then inhale, come to lift yourself all the way up to standing. Heel toe those feet together, finding Tadasana. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, folding down. Step it all the way back to a plank position now. Just hold here. Just say hello to this position. You're going to get really friendly with it throughout the next 31 days. Let's just have another breath, inhale, and then exhale, lowering the knees down, finding an all fours position. Take an inhale, lift the chest through the heart space, and then exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, lifting the chest, and then exhale, rounding the spine. Come back to neutral. Tucking under the toes, lift those knees, finding that plank position, taking an inhale. And then we exhale, lowering either down through Chaturanga or down to the knees, and then coming down through Cobra or Upward Facing Dog, making your way back into a Downward Facing Dog. Take a releasing breath. Ah, releasing any tension that's caught up into the jaw. And then on an inhale, wave the body forwards. Lower those knees down, all fours. Take an inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Come back to neutral. This time we're going to add on. Inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread that right arm underneath the left. Side of the head goes down. Left arm goes up to the sky. Option to wrap that left arm around behind you to the inside of the right thigh. You're just getting a nice little open into that left shoulder. Just letting the head really melt down onto the floor. Feeling the breath expand the body. Unraveling and then placing left hand down. Pushing yourself back up and then place the right hand down. We go to the other side. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, feeding that left arm underneath you. Side of the head comes down. Right arm reaches up to the sky. And then when she feels good to you, you can wrap that right arm around behind you to the inside of the left thigh. And then taking an inhale here, reach that right arm up, place it down, unravel yourself back into the all fours position. And then we tuck under the toes, we make our way back to that plank and then you vinyasa here, either modified down through the knees or finding your chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, exhale downward facing dog. You're going to walk your feet in towards the hands. 
You're going to take an inhale, lift the chest, slide the hands underneath the feet. Now, if this is really unavailable, then you can come into the same variation that we did with the two piece fingers around the big toes. If you can slide the hands under the feet, even with nice bent knees, that's absolutely fine. Elbows coming out to the side. Take an inhale, just lengthen through the chest. Exhale, folding here. Shifting that weight towards the front of the feet. Maybe having a little shake of the head, a little nod of the head. And then taking an inhale, releasing those hands, bending the knees here, come to sit all the way down onto your mat, roll it back, rock yourself back to that Navasana one last time. We're just going to hold here and breathe. So you can close the eyes. We want to stay really solid and steady in this Navasana. and then release it down left leg out in front of you right knee in for a little marachasana c so let's come into a spinal twist here right hand behind you this left leg stays switched on the whole time if you need to sit yourself up on a block you absolutely can take an inhale left arm up exhale elbow either over the knee or if that doesn't feel comfortable you can just hug the knee what you want to be mindful of is that left hip wanting to peel off in order to get you further into a rotation. We don't want that. We want the rotation to come from the torso, not from the hips. And you can find a gazing point behind you. Another couple of breaths here. And then gently unraveling, a little counter twist. And then we switch sides, drawing the left foot in. Right, right leg is out, that right leg is active. Left hand behind you, inhale, lengthen right arm up to the sky. Exhale as you either hug the leg or take the elbow over. Again, being mindful of this right hip. We don't want it to be lifting, we want to be grounding down. Finding that gazing point behind you as you breathe here. One more breath. And then gently unraveling, little baby counter twist. And then bending both knees up, feet hip width apart. Just shift your bottom towards the top of the mat and locate your block. If you've got one near you, then you're gonna use a block. If not, you don't have to use a block. So slowly just start to lower yourself down to the ground. It's day one. I'm not gonna do my usual thing for those of you that have been part of the Soul Sanctuary family for a while. I'm just gonna allow you to ease your way down to earth. So we're gonna come into a supported bridge. So either if you don't have a block, you could use a bolster or you could put a couple of cushions beneath you or literally just a big chunky book. If you have your block, you're going to inhale, lift the hips and then slide your block, whichever height that you want. You can place it on the lowest. This is the middle height or you could place it up onto the top height, depending on what you're feeling for today. And then just have a moment of mindfulness towards your knees and towards your feet. The feet aren't at the edges of the mat. The knees aren't dropping open. This is not a hip opener. So you wanna have the feet parallel to the hips and therefore the knees are tracking that line all the way down. They're not knocking inwards, but they're also not hanging outwards. Palms of the hands facing upwards, closing down your eyes here. <sighs> Release the breath. And just have a few moments to settle and sink into this space.
couple more breaths here. And then you're going to lift your hips off your block, very gently lower your hips down. And then just swish the knees side to side, just loosening any tension that's been caught up in the lower spine. Just side to side, swish, swish, swish. <laughs> And then you come down into a Shavasana. If you would like to draw the knees into the chest for a breath or two first, if you would like to find a happy baby for a breath or two first, then absolutely finding those moments, finding that time. Then when you're ready, you'll lower those legs down into your Shavasana. Palms of the hands facing upwards. Just create space for the shoulder blades to breathe, travel down the spine. You can move the hands away from the body slightly. Remember your gaze is inwards. Your breath is softening, just gently flowing its way around your body. And as you lay here in this Shavasana, just for your first few moments, I would invite you to try and find that smile again. Can you feel the corners of your lips curling upwards? Can you find a smile and a sense of pride for yourself for showing up in this space today, for showing up for yourself and for embarking on this journey with the beautiful Soul Sanctuary community? So many of you doing this practice together all around the world. That is incredible, knowing that you are connected through the power of yoga. Just taking some time here in your Shavasana to breathe and to rest. As always, the invitation to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you would like to. If you feel ready to draw a little bit of movement back into the fingers and the toes, just starting to wiggle them. And whenever you're ready, rolling over to one side and just pausing there for a moment. Pushing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. When you get to that comfortable seated position, placing one hand on top of the other over the heart space. Keeping the eyes closed. And let's just find space in our hearts for gratitude. Gratitude for the practice of yoga, the lineage, the rooted history, the rich tapestry of this practice that we have been gifted with that brings us all together here today. For that, we are so grateful. And we're going to seal the practice firstly with an om all together, that universal sound of inner and outer consciousness joining and then a little releasing breath. So take an inhale and join me if you wish. Um. Taking an inhale and letting it go. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Whether you're doing this practice when it went onto the Soul Sanctuary or if you're doing it years later, thank you so much for 
coming on this journey with me and being here and gifting yourself with the time to be in transit. Take some time today to see what that feels like for you. What do those words mean to you today? Thank you so much. And I will see you again for another practice soon. Bye-bye.